All right, we've all been there. We go out to eat dinner with our friends, we sit down at the table, and it's almost like Russian roulette on who's gonna get the wine menu. And you're like, oh, what do I do? The wine menu lands in your lap, and there are just a few choices. Now, it's complicated for a reason. See, it makes us feel like we're doing something really cool, and you don't know the secret. So tonight, I'm gonna give you some insider scoop. If you need help, you're not for sure what to order, the most important thing to do is to figure out how much you want to spend. That's it. You figure out what you want to spend, a little or a lot. And once you do, you invite the psalm or the wine manager, just ask your server, hey, can you send somebody over to help us with the wine list? I'm not quite for sure which one of these I want. See, these are all key words, right? Because they're going to go back and say, they want something, they just don't know which one they want. Remember the whole price thing? So when you pull that menu open, it almost doesn't even matter what you pick to. Put your finger on the wine that you like, price-wise, and you move your finger over to the price, and you look at the person and you say, I'd like to have something like this. <laughs> okay? Now, that's code word. Now, you've got to use your big boy and big girl words, right? You've got to tell them, but I want it jammy, dry, sweet, tanniny, tart, Whatever words you like, right? Whatever you like in your palate, go with it. Now, here's an insider tip. I like to start dinner with a white wine. Why? Because it's cheaper than red. And <laughs> once you've got it on the table, if somebody didn't want red wine, you've already got them a glass of whatever they were going to have, right? It also cleans the palate. Summertime white, Gewürztraminer. Everybody say it. Gewürztraminer. When you order it like that, they're like, oh, these people know what they're doing right? Super bright, crisp, easy drinking. Now, I also love reds. I make reds, and I love Bordeaux's, but they're kind of played out. So, this summer, when you're out at dinner, and you want to get a little fancy, order yourself a Chateau Neuf de Pop. Now, everybody say it with me. Ready? Chateau Neuf de Pop. This is a beautiful wine from the southern part of France, Oklahomans love it because it's a little bit on the fruity, jammier side. Still a lot of body. Everybody feels like they're getting a great glass of wine. And it sounds cool when you order it, right? Which, that's how you kind of beat the game. All right, so you've ordered your wine. I would like to have a 2012 Chateau Neuf de Pup. They're going to go pull the bottle. Now the theater starts. Oh, they're going to come out to the table. Oh, is this the wine that you ordered? And you're so dazzled. You're like, yeah, that's what I got. Okay, but if you were listening, I didn't order a 14, I ordered a 12, and that's how restaurants make a few bucks. Now, oftentimes it happens by accident, but it happens eight times this year. So, double check, they're not going to get the label wrong, but they might get that year wrong. All right, so then they're going to do the theater opening, oh, and here's your cork, sir. Now, don't sniff the cork. Do you sniff the milk jug cover? <laughs> Your beer cap? It's cork. Okay? Just go, put it on the table. We're having, we're having conversation. Oh, would you like a taste? Uh, yeah, of course. They're going to pour it to you. Now, you know what's in here? Wine. So, it should be wine, right? <laughs> Do not stick it in your mouth. There's a reason why our nose sticks out in front of our mouth. It's to prevent us from sticking stuff in our mouth like children and going, ugh, this is terrible. All you got to do is stick your nose in it. Take a good, good smell. First of all, if it smells like wine, you ordered wine, right? <laughs> but you're only checking for four simple things. So when you smell the wine, ignore the fact that it's just wine, but I want you to dial in these four things. A wet dog... Rotten eggs, wet cardboard, or vinegar. Those are all faults. There's something wrong with this wine. And it's totally cool for you to go, oh my gosh, this smells like vinegar. They're going to go, oh really? Oh, yeah, it does. They're going to take that cork, they're going to shove it in the bottle, and they're going to send it back to the producer for a refund. Doesn't hurt the restaurant, doesn't hurt you. My recommendation is don't order the same one because that little batch is probably gone, right? <laughs> hey, look, at the end of the day, it's just wine, right? So have fun with it. 
Happy National Wine Day of all days. Cheers. <laughs>